Okay, this is on the Maggie Acomo job number 54676. Um, this is video two of two. This is the top floor, second level um, of a cut line right there. So, um, there goes my light. Um, I put the furnace just on a little two inch base. Um, so we, we're not hitting the carpet with our filter when we get it out. Um, so that, right. And then a seven inch wide filter box. And then a little three inch base, furnace coil, that and a canvas. Um, Okay, so combustion air is okay. Can't see it, but it's six inch pipe up there behind the flue. Vent, reconnect to existing B vent. Um, I gave you some extra 90s and stuff because um, these look like they'll probably break. <laughs> so just in case you need to redo this, that's what that's for. They look to me like they're going to break. <clears throat> um, so your gas, this is the shows. So from the cock, you're going to add a four and then a flex and that inside your furnace to T and to break. AC. I basically went over those already on the first one, so same thing. Oops. Um, drain just to the existing three quarter inch PVC. Standard order for that. Um, you're going to add a coil safe overflow safety switch, as well as uh, one of those water sensors on the floor. Thermostat, you're going to reuse the existing uh, communicating set there, Lennox. Um, so you're going to patch the ceiling with metal. Um, so I just gave you a piece of metal as big as this furnace room. So cut it to fit and bend your angles as needed. Um, Okay. That's it.